Happy Vending. Hello and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill and today we have something special planned. Here in this uh, Royal 660 machine, I am going to add in this blank space a mystery selection. I'll put a mystery label and it will say $1 12 ounce can and then we're going to see if people actually choose that not knowing what drink they're going to get. And these are the possibilities that we're going to put in there. Uh, we have Cherry Pepsi, we have regular Coke, we have Sprite, Sierra Mist, Barks Root Beer, and uh, Crush Grape. These are all things that are currently not in this machine. So uh, let's start putting them in there. In order to do this right, we have to make it so that any two consecutive vents won't give the same product. So as I fill this up, and, and then that selection, just by the way, is both this front column here, column three, and then the back column behind it, column nine. So two separate columns are hooked up to that selection on the machine. So as I put these in, I have to start in this uh, third column. I'm going to do the Cherry Pepsi, then the Coke, then do the two in the back. I'll go uh, Sprite, and then I'll do, I'll do Barks, because Sierra Mist is pretty much the same as Sprite, in my opinion. So then I'll go Root Beer, Crush, and then I'll end with Sierra Mist and then I'll go back here to the beginning, then just start stagmenting them. So let's get started here with the, um, the Cherry Pepsi. Starting in the front column, I want the top of the can toward me. Putting it right there. Then I'm gonna do my Coke right behind the Pepsi, top of the can once again toward me. These columns are too deep, so you stack your cans um, back to back. Now I'm going to put my Sprite in the um, nine column, first spot. The front of the can is going that way. Then I'm doing my Barks right behind the Sprite. So that takes care of my first layer for both columns. Now I'm coming back to the third column and I'm going to put my Crush and then my Sierra Mist these aim toward me. All right, I'm going to keep doing this. And why am I doing this? Well, I'm just trying to get some interest going in the machine. See if, uh, you know, after two weeks, how well this column sells, this selection sells compared to the other drinks in the machine. And I mean, if, if students like this, if they like the possibility of getting different drinks, then, you know, I'll continue doing this. Right now, honestly, it's actually kind of hard to get a variety of drinks. A lot of the selections that I did have in this machine are hard to come by now. In this column, I used to have um, vanilla Coke, vanilla Coke Zero. You can't get vanilla Coke right now because of the pandemic. So I had to replace it with something, so I figured I'd have some fun with it. my boxes are empty. Let's throw in the label. Here it is. This is what I made up. Can you see that? I actually made this in Photoshop. So then let's just slide it in here. Third selection. All right. Beautiful. I'm going to grab a couple dollars and we'll do a few test spins. All right. It's ready to go. Let's test bend this. What will I get? Oh, mystery. Let's see. Thank you. Look at that. 
Got a Coke on this one. Now let's try another VIN. And we always want it to give a different drink on every VIN. Cherry Pepsi, so it's a complete mystery. You don't know what you're gonna get. So I'll stop by and we'll give it two weeks and we'll see how well this selection sells in the machine. All right, so it's been three weeks since I had first put the mystery drinks in this machine. I was originally gonna wait two weeks, but um, in this school there was a lot of snow days and there was um, many days nobody was here. So I figured I'd go three weeks and I'm about to open it up and see how we did, now remember we had uh, six different drinks in there, so there was a good 72 cans of soda. Let's take a look. It was all in column three, come on over, let's take a look. Both columns, front and back, sold out, every single can. And actually I knew that by looking at the uh, credit card app, I knew that this flavor was outselling all the other flavors. It started a little slow, but I think once it caught on, the students got uh, kind of excited by it and it really performed well. So what I did is I went to the store and uh, checked this out. I got a whole new assortment of mystery drinks I'm going to put in here. Some repeaters, I'm putting some more Sprite and Barks in there and some regular Coke, but they brought back vanilla Coke in the store. Uh, so I'm going to add that. Dr. Pepper cream soda, which is new. I'm going to put some brisk in there. Continue with the cherry Pepsi. And this one, which I uh, have never tried before, this is Mountain Dew Watermelon. And we'll see how that one goes. So yeah, I'm going to fill it up and uh, hopefully this selection continues to do well. I don't know if it would do well for you, but here where there's a lot of teenagers, they seem to like the mystery selection. Well, that's all for this episode. As always, happy vending.